Ordinarily, I would use cardboard. I have made a cardboard template of the size of the battery that's going to go inside this box. And I just started making it out of steel and I had a few different variations as you can see here. And I'm going through way too much steel sheeting just for the design process. So that's why I'm moving to the foam. We'll cut it out of the foam, get a nice cool shape and then make it out of steel. So here's my theory so far. The cardboard is representing the side bracket that I'm going to make. The battery will be laying down in that position. So this will be the terminals here and it'll be inside that box. And this long bolt will be the through bolt that goes all the way through this hole here. And when you release that bolt, you'll be able to lower this down, depending on the height of your bike. Like I said, I'm still trying to figure it all out at the moment, but that'll allow you to get access to your terminals really easy. That's pretty damn cool. There's a few measurements that I need to tweak, as you can see here, uh, and move the line where I need to fold that one. But that's to be expected when you're folding something up for the first time. And this here is the template that I had, and I just wrote on it one to five or one to seven, whatever it was, the amount of bends that I need to do in which sequence to do them in to make sure everything kind of clears. There's a few spots where it gets very close, but it works. Because it's pretty thin, you can bend it and manipulate it as you need to. So I'll tack that up. As you can see here, I've taken off the original swing arm and I'm currently working on or mocking up a single sided swing arm with a totally different final drive. I'm still yet to figure all that out. However, this little battery box, it's been a while, so it's got a bit of surface rust on it, but I'll show you how it works. I will have to make some changes to either the battery box or the swing arm because it's getting really close up in this corner here. However, once you remove the through bolt, or for me, it's just the Allen key for the minute, you can swing the whole thing down and access your battery, which is absolutely perfect. I'm really happy with the outcome. The only thing that I probably will do is drill in a few more holes or at least do some sort of dimple dies or something to give it a bit of character as well as getting ventilation into that battery. I do understand it's a pretty vulnerable place to put a battery, but we're very limited to places to put it, especially when you're building a cafe racer like this. One option would be just putting a heavy duty bash plate on the underside and it should be fine. So let me know in the comments, do you love it? Do you hate it? Would you remove your center stand and put a battery box in this location? Or maybe there's some stuff that I didn't think of that you can put in the comments for anyone else thinking about doing the same thing. And if you like this style of video, I have heaps more just like this one. Go and check them out.